All right. Good morning to you. It is a Wednesday morning and already the uh, 23rd day of December. Can you believe it? Wow. Yeah, as, uh, uh, as I was thinking about what I was going to be talking today and, and kind of looking over the uh, availabilities and things like that, I was like, wait, the whole year's pretty much already gone by, you know? And uh, now we're facing Christmas Eve tomorrow. So for as cliched as, as, as it may sound, um, for you guys out there that are going to be doing some shopping today, I'll see you out there. I don't know. I did some shopping this year. I've already got some stuff done, yeah, but not everything. I think the important stuff I've got done. Christmas, um, of course, falls on a Friday. Christmas Day falls on a Friday this year. And uh, so Christmas Eve is on a Thursday. Same thing with New Year's Eve. That's always what happens. So today, uh, as a matter of fact, let me share the quote, uh, the uh, link for the article we're going to be uh, using today or speaking about today. It's a uh, um, article written by a uh, person by the name of Madison Plot, and uh, this is from Success.com, and it's quotes about the Christmas spirit. Now, this is unique in the way this time around because it's actually about um it was actually written last year so this was the quotes about the spirit of christmas as we were i think in the very very beginnings i don't remember the timeline exactly of what was to become a pandemic right so it was like a different mindset this when this article was written it was probably written way before christmas too right so um as you can see i also didn't shave today a little day off those scruffy looking, apologize. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, we're going to be talking about that and kind of keep that in mind. The uh, the time frame, I guess, mindset when this was written, maybe we'll see um, a, a difference, right, uh, on, on when it was written and all that stuff. So the article starts like this, Merry Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year with sparkling snowflakes and twinkling lights, happy carols and rosy cheeks. Good cheer and warm, fuzzy feelings. Amen. The holiday's sweetest moments look slightly different for all of us, but no matter your traditions, one thing never changes. The love that surrounds us and the joy that fills our hearts. Take a moment to let these warm quotes fill you with the spirit of Christmas and then get back to what truly matters. So there you go. That's a good mindset to start this article with. All right, so <clears throat> let's kick off these quotes about the spirit of Christmas. The first one is from Dr. Seuss. It's probably from um, the Grinch, right? The Grinch who stole Christmas. It says Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. And, you know, I think it also depends on how you uh, present Christmas either to yourself in, in so far as, um, you know, as an adult, right? How do you treat Christmas? And also, how you present Christmas to, like, your children, if you have children, you know? It says, Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. I was um, listening into my daughter as she was having her um, online class recently and you know they have this whole uh, elf thing right the the elf on a shelf and a lot of the kids have it not all of them Alexis does and uh, one of the kids uh, and it, this quote brought this to mind one of the kids said oh yeah my elf brought me airpods I was like what I, <laughs> you're talking about putting the bar high right like this is um the whole story behind the elf on the shelf, if I remember correctly, is that it's like uh, the elf is like a scout, a scout for, for Santa to kind of keep an eye on the kids and make sure they're being nice and da-da-da. And this uh, elf in this particular situation, the elf, um, brought AirPods to this child, nine years old. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and oh, so what's that for Christmas, you know? 
That's why this quote, Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more by Dr. Seuss kind of brought that to mind, right? It's how we present it to ourselves and to our loved ones. The next one is from Peg Bracken. It says, gifts of time and love are surely the basic ingredients of a truly Merry Christmas. Gifts of time and love are surely the basic ingredients of a truly Merry Christmas. Spending some time with a loved one. And I'm not talking about putting together like a Christmas, you know, event or a party or anything like that. Just spending some time. Like my daughter likes to play board games. Uh, and she wants to play this one uh, game. It's like a card game on memes or something. And she's been asking us for the last couple of days and we've been putting it off. But today we definitely have to because I think even more importantly for children, you know, spending and giving the gift of time and love, love every day, right? Time every day. But I think even more so during uh, the holiday season, the basic ingredients, you know, like the quote says, gifts of time and love are surely the basic ingredients of a truly Merry Christmas. And let's say someone you've fallen out of touch with, especially someone you truly and honestly care about, somebody that was very important to you or that was important to you, just giving of your time, even with it, if it's with a phone call or through like a Zoom, um, you know, video chat, giving of your time to just check up on them and, and see how they're doing and, you know, ask about them and listen. Listening is, is such a great treat and gift to give to somebody. It, you know, just call someone and say, how are you doing? How have you been? Don't wait to interject when they say something oh yeah and 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 follow through with something else no no listen to them you know just and ha listen to what they have to say gifts of time and love are surely the basic ingredients of a truly merry christmas by peg bracken the next one is from dale evans and um christmas my child is love in action every time we love every time we give it's Christmas, Dale Evans. It's very nice. Every time we love, every time we give, it's Christmas. Now, if you put it in the context of the Christmas season, the holiday season, that's what it is. Now, not everybody celebrates Christmas, right? You've got all these different holidays that we've got Kwanzaa and, and Hanukkah and, uh, and, and others that are, you know, kind of uh, don't, I can't uh, recall right now, but... Um, there's there's other celebrations going on and it's pretty much the same thing christmas my child is love in action every time we love every time we give it's christmas especially as we're going into a new year and, and after as we've gone through this particular year you know love in action that's a good one christmas my child is love in action every time we love every time we give it's christmas dale evans Next one is by Laura Ingalls Wilder, Little House on the Prairie. We are better throughout the year for having, in spirit, become a child again at Christmas time. We are better throughout the year for having, in spirit, become a child again in Christmas time. That's nice. Keeping the spirit of Christmas alive in you throughout the year. You know, spirit of of joy and giving and time and love and thankfulness, gratitude. What is Christmas? It is tenderness for the past, courage for the present, hope for the future. Agnes Paro. What is Christmas? It is tenderness for the past, courage for the present, hope for the future. And that, that's pretty much what you hear on songs right holiday songs christmas songs it's like we think about the past wistfully almost you know the all lang syne and and whatnot courage for the present what you're dealing with right now what we're all dealing with right now and it doesn't have to be necessarily this year any given year and hope for the future because that's i think a truly that 
probably is a unique, uniquely human trait. Hope for the future. Seeing, you know, as we look into the future, we have the ability to cast our vision into the future. Not only can we engender hope, but I mean, there's a flip side, right? That's where we get anxiety, right? If we start thinking about the future, but in negative terms, negative ways, we get anxiety. So when we talk about hope for the future, that's flip side of that. What is Christmas? It is tenderness for the past, courage for the present, hope for the future. Agnes Paro. Next one is from Roy L. Smith. He who has not Christmas in his heart will never find it under a tree. So Christmas, the Christmas spirit, because we are talking about the spirit of Christmas today has to come from within. You have to feel it within, not, and again, it goes back to the first one. It doesn't come from a store, right? Maybe, perhaps, but something more, it says. So he who has not Christmas in his heart will never find it under a tree. Roy L. Smith. I'm kind of going through these a little bit quickly. It is Wednesday morning. It's a holiday week. I'm surprised I woke up without an alarm, you know, but you know, I mean, as you can tell, hair, no shaving, ASMR. Uh, all right, off of Mir Miracle on 34th Street, Valentine Davies said, oh, Christmas isn't just a day, it's a frame of mind. It's a frame of mind. Yeah. How you approach Christmas. What What is it? What is the, the frame of mind? I apologize for the slurping again. <clears throat> but if you were ever in the position of, of maybe in your youth or maybe as an adult, in a position where material things weren't readily available or you weren't able to express your Christmas wishes or your Christmas um, giving with material things, <clears throat> are you still, <clears throat> excuse me, are you still able to celebrate Christmas? Absolutely. Christmas isn't just a day, it's a frame of mind. Valentine Davies, a miracle on 34th Street. Next one is Norman Vincent Peale, Power of Positive Thinking. Not This isn't from Power of Positive Thinking, but he's the author of that. Christmas waves a magic wand over the, this world, and behold, everything is softer and more beautiful. Yeah, it has that tinge, right? Everything is, uh, is a little bit lighter. It, it, the, the edges are kind of polished down, you know, softened. The edges are softened people for the most part are softer when it comes to interactions and it's the the season right the the spirit of the season there's a reason for the season then there's the spirit of the season the feeling of the season christmas waves a magic wand over this world and behold everything is softer and more beautiful norman vincent peel dr seuss again christmas <clears throat> Christmas will always be as long will always be as long as we stand heart to heart and hand in hand <clears throat> Christmas will always be as long as we stand heart to heart and hand in hand Dr. Seuss heart to heart what does that mean not being in conflict with each other right trying to do away with any ill will or ill feelings, maybe maybe take care of a situation that there was some, I don't know, animosity between you and someone else and try and clear the air. And maybe just a misunderstanding that you just let become, a, you know, a grudge or separation or a, a point of contention between you and someone else. <clears throat> Whether it was true or not whether it was whether it merited the ending of a relationship or the difficulty of that type of relationship whether uh, whether it had any merit christmas will always be as long as we stand heart to heart 
and hand in hand. The article <clears throat> is quotes about the spirit of Christmas from success.com and the link is on the uh, comment section. Please feel free to share the video if you want to share this with anybody. I'd really appreciate it and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bob Hope. My idea of Christmas, whether old-fashioned or modern, is very simple. Loving others. <clears throat> That's a um, pretty basic and solid idea of Christmas. Pretty basic and solid idea of, of Christmas. My idea of Christmas, whether old-fashioned or modern, is very simple. Loving others. Now, this is Bob Hope. When was this said? Could this have been said in <clears throat> the 1950s, 1960s? Old-fashioned being 40s, 30s. And now, here we are in 2020. Almost 2021. And modern is now pff, completely turned end over end right but even before the pandemic modern everything always gets modern everything new becomes old so what was old fashioned even in 2019 2010 you know the 2000s my idea of Christmas whether old fashioned or modern is very simple loving others that however is timeless Bob, Bob Hope. Helen Steiner Rice. Peace on earth will come to stay when we live Christmas every day. That goes back to the feeling of Christmas. The spirit of Christmas. The embodiment of the spirit of Christmas. When you're talking about uh, forgiveness, family, love, togetherness, hope for the future, remembrance of the past, traditions, things like that. Peace on earth, earth will come to stay when we live Christmas every day. Helen Steiner Rice. Andy Rooney, one of the most glorious messes in the world is the mess created in the living room on Christmas Day. Don't clean it up too quickly. <laughs> that Talk about being wistful, right? What does the mess created in the living room on Christmas Day represent? If not, you know, the joy <laughs> of, of kids, you know, wrapping, you know, unwrapping and, and, and uh, ripping presents open after the anticipation of getting to Christmas. That's half the joy, right? Wrapping them open. And yeah, one can argue sometimes like, ah, oh, and throw it away. Uh, next one, and throw it away. And uh, next one, and put it aside. Sure, you can argue that. But we can't get caught in the small details. And, you know, kids aren't going to be like, for the most part, a child isn't going to open up a present and be like, you know, oh my gosh, this particular present. And, and you know, set aside and wait on the rest of the presents, however many they may be, one more or t five more, ten more, by focusing on this one for a good while and kind of giving you a treatise on, on you know, what this means to them. It's it, That's not going to happen, usually. It's like the on open, see what it is, the unveiling, the reveal. Wow, instantaneous response. What's next? I mean, it is what it is. One of the most glorious messes in the world is the mess created in the living room on Christmas Day. Don't clean it up too quickly, Andy Rooney. Blessed is the season which engages the whole world in a conspiracy of love. Hamilton, Wright, maybe. That's nice. Blessed is the season which engages the whole world in a conspiracy of love. I wish. I wish the season could engage the whole world in a conspiracy of love. 
but I'm thankful that it engages a large amount, a large amount of people in a conspiracy of love. I, I really do love the Christmas season. Blessed is the season which engages the whole world in a conspiracy of love. Hamilton Wright, maybe. The next one's from Burton Hillis. The best of all gifts around any Christmas tree. The presence of a happily of a happy family all wrapped up in each other. You know, we are foregoing this this particular year because of the situation and because of you know older members of the family and, and whatnot. We want to make sure everybody's safe. But one of the traditions we had was going to my sister's my sister Andy's, who's always a, a phenomenal hostess. And one of the traditions is showing up on Christmas Day and spending the day with family. Spending the day with family and, and spending time with each other and just being with each other. Exchange of gifts, sure, but that's less than the actual time spent together and seeing each other and spending time together. The best of all gifts around any Christmas tree, the presence of a family, of a happy family, all wrapped up in each other. Burton Hillis. Norman Vincent Peale again. I truly believe that if we keep telling the Christmas story, singing the Christmas songs, and living the Christmas spirit, we can bring joy and happiness and peace to this world. That literally goes back to the one we saw just a couple ago, right? About peace on earth will come to stay when we live Christmas every day. Same thing, right? If we embody all that is good about the season, maybe we can start bringing down what is bad about the world. I truly believe that if we keep telling the Christmas story, singing the Christmas songs, and living the Christmas spirit, we can bring joy and happiness and peace to this world. Norman Vincent Peale. From A Christmas Carol, Charles Dickens. I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. And that's what, the, again, an earlier one. It's about, you know, figuratively becoming a child again during Christmas and keeping that Christmas spirit throughout the year for the betterment of yourself your peace of mind, and the world. I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Marjorie Holmes. At Christmas, all roads lead home. Is it is it a draw, you think? Is it being drawn? You being drawn by, hopefully, joyful memories of the past? You know? having that warm, fuzzy feeling of Christmas as a child. Whether or not you can recapture it or, you know, whether or not you can recapture it keeps you drawing you back. Home. Home, I think, more so as a state of mind, it seems. At Christmas, all roads lead home. Marjorie Holmes. Washington Irving. Christmas is a season for kindling the fire for hospitality, hospitality in the hall, the genial flame of charity in the heart. <clears throat> Them some pretty words. Christmas is a season for kindling the fire for hospitality in the hall, the genial flame of charity in the heart. You know, are we more open to charity, to giving? during the Christmas season because we're kind of in a different state of mind. I think so. I think so. Benjamin Franklin, a good conscience is a continual Christmas. Again, with the spirit of Christmas and living it throughout the year. Margaret Thatcher, Christmas is a day of meaning and traditions. A, spe a special day spent in the warm circle of family and friends. And I think you cannot discount you cannot discount how much of a luxury and a and a treasure it is to be able to spend time with family and friends. I think 
we appreciate it even more now. But regardless, spending a special day in the warm circle of family and friends, that is the one of the greatest gifts. Time goes by the entire year and sometimes you don't see people for days, weeks, months. Being able to spend time with them, share love with them, is a, a phenomenal gift. Christmas is a day of meaning and traditions, a special day spent in the warm circle of family and friends, Margaret Thatcher. Edna Ferber said, Christmas isn't a season, it's a feeling. Absolutely. There's a lot of these, so I'm going to kind of go through some of them. Eric Severide, Christmas is a necessity. There, is n there has to be at least one day of the year to remind us that we're here for something else besides ourselves. So that's put completely different than anybody else, but an absolute truth. Yes, we know we're here for something else besides ourselves, but sometimes we need to be reminded. <clears throat> have we or have we not sometimes been caught up in a rat race you're in, in something that we forget. We forget that we're here for something else besides ourselves. We need to be reminded Christmas is a necessity. There has to be at least one day of the year to remind us that we're here for something else besides ourselves. Eric Severide. Gladys Tabor. Christmas is a bridge. We need bridges as a river of time flows past. Today's Christmas should mean creating happy hours for tomorrow and reliving those of yesterday. That, now we're talking about that Christmas, that wistfulness, right? Wistfulness for the past and hope for tomorrow. Remembrance of the past and hope for tomorrow. Christmas is a bridge. We need bridges as a river of time flows past. Today's Christmas should mean creating happy hours for tomorrow and reliving those of yesterday, Gladys Tabor. Winston Churchill, Christmas is a season not only of rejoicing, but of reflection, of course. Um, and last but not least, last one for the quotes about the spirit of Christmas is from B.C. Forbes. Christmas is a tonic for our souls. It moves us to think of others rather than of ourselves. It directs our thoughts to giving. Sums it up. Sums it up perfectly. Christmas is a tonic for our souls. By a tonic, I mean like a medicine. It moves us to think of others rather than of ourselves. Does it amplify our innate empathy? Probably. I mean, think of others. It directs our thoughts to giving. Again, that's why there's a lot of, you know, like the, the red kettles and things like that. I mean, keep a dollar in your in your pocket so when you see one, just drop it in there. Or more, you know. B.C. Forbes, Christmas is a tonic for our souls. It moves us to think of others rather than of ourselves. It directs our thoughts to giving. That's very nice. So there you go. That was uh, an article that was actually, <clears throat> I'm just finding out, was originally published in December of 2017 and was updated for 2019. And here we are reading it in 2020. As we get ready for Christmas Eve tomorrow, Christmas Day on Friday, which I will not be doing a uh, 8 a.m. live. I apologize, but it is Christmas Day. And it takes some time to do this. As much as I enjoy it, but I'd rather be spending it with my family and, you know, opening presents and whatnot, sp spending the morning together. So as we get ready for Christmas Eve tomorrow and Christmas Day, I would like to take a moment to thank you for checking out these videos occasionally, whether they're live or on replay. I thank you for sharing them with your, your friends or you know, they're public, so you can share them public. And uh, I appreciate you for doing that. I thank you for for the love and the, you know, just the kind feelings that have been expressed 
on different videos um, the thoughts that are shared in the comments and, and the positivity that's shared is really heartwarming and it's very gratifying so I thank you I thank you for that and I really do appreciate you I hope you have a wonderful Christmas Eve and a wonderful Christmas Day and I hope you get to spend some time with your loved ones and people you care about and if you can't please be sure to give them a call and let them know you're thinking of them and make it just a little bit special a little bit more special for them this Christmas uh, for 2020 I should be back on Monday which is the 26th no 27th 28th and hopefully you know Wednesday again so have yourself a fantastic rest of the week and weekend I hope to see you Monday. Until next time, we'll be talking.